My name is Colleen, and this is my kitchen. I've struggled with my weight my entire life. After trying every diet in the book without any success, I came to the realization that diets don't work. I started my journey at a size 26W, weighing just over 300 pounds. In almost a year and a half, I've lost over 120 pounds, and I am a size 14. No W. What's my secret? Eating healthy and moving more. Now I'm here to show you how you can cook healthy food without compromising on taste and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight we are making comfort food. We're going to be making a chicken pot pie. And that's very difficult to do when you're trying to watch your calories. So I'm going to show you how I lean it down to, uh, to be a little more diet friendly or healthy lifestyle friendly. So first thing, I have a skillet, a deep skillet that I've just coated with some nonstick cooking spray here. And I'm going to go ahead and chop up a half of an onion. And then next up, I have two medium carrots, and so that I get uh, quite a bit of carrot in each bite, I like to chop these in half lengthwise, and then dice them, just like this. So you have kind of a little half length. So I've added the carrots to the pan there, and now we're going to add a little bit of seasoning in, just a touch of, spring, of uh, coarse sea salt, about a quarter teaspoon, and some freshly ground black pepper. And I want to let that cook for uh, just until the onions are translucent, about five minutes or so. So while that's cooking, let's go ahead and prep some of the rest of our vegetables. First of all, I have one russet potato that I've uh, taken the skin off of here. And I'm just going to dice this up. And the beauty of adding the potato in there is that the starches help to thicken that sauce up and make for uh, a nice thick filling to the pie. And then I have six criminy mushrooms, or brown mushrooms. I'm going to take these stems off. And one thing to know about mushrooms is you don't want to uh, you don't want to wash them when you uh, are prepping them. So you don't want to um, put water on them. And the reason for that is because the mushrooms will absorb that water and uh, makes it difficult to cook. So what you want to do is just take a towel and rub the top, or you can take a little brush like a dish brush uh, and uh, gently brush the tops of them so that you get all the uh, dirt off of there. Once you've cleaned your mushrooms, take those stems off, and then we're just going to slice them up. onions are getting nice and clear there, so I'm going to add in these potatoes and mushrooms that we chopped, and I'm going to let these cook for about five minutes or so, just until those uh, mushrooms have let off a little bit of water and um, have shrunk in a little bit in size. The mushrooms are all cooked, so now I'm going to add Two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So it's three chicken breasts. Oh, I'm sorry, six chicken breast tenderloins or two breasts, diced up here. Add that right in. And I only need to let that cook for about a minute. I'm not trying to cook this through because it still has to go in the oven. I just want to heat it up a little bit. About one minute. Next, I have a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Add that to the pan. And just stir that so that it's coated up real well. And so now, I have a cup of 
skim milk or non-fat milk here. And I'm also going to add in one cup of vegetable broth. And this is a homemade vegetable broth. Very, very easy to make on your own. And the benefit of making it myself is I don't have any salt to it. So it's lower in calories and lower in sodium than the store-bought broth. So now I'm going to continue cooking this over medium, and I'm going to uh, let it cook until this sauce really thickens up. Think of it like gravy. You want it to be thick like a gravy. My sauce is nice and thick, so I am going to take that off of there and add in some finishing touches here. First of all, I have a tarragon champagne vinegar. Now, I get this from one of my favorite foodie shops over in Portland, the Immortal Pie and Larder. And what I love about it is it adds a great tarragon infusion uh, to the dish. But you can also just use a white wine vinegar. That works just as well. I'm going to use one tablespoon. And then let's add some herbs. I've got a half a tablespoon of thyme. And then for that um, extra special tarragon goodness here, I've got half a, ta a teaspoon of tarragon that I'm also going to add. Give that a good stir. I have one cup of frozen petite peas. And then I have just a handful of parsley. Once this is chopped, it'll be equivalent to about a quarter cup. And I recommend the fresh parsley instead of the dried. Then add a nice little splash of green with those peas in there. And a nice, fresh, herby taste to it. Okay, 
Once you have that trimmed off, you want to just go ahead and pinch that around the sides there, kind of firm that up. Make sure you've got a good seal over the side of that pan. Okay, and then what I like to do is take these little leftover pieces of dough and just make some whatever figures I want to make. So today I'm going to make some leaves. And to do that, I just cut out a little figure, just two rounded edges like so. And then I take the sharp part of my knife and just score it right up the center gently. That makes a nice little leaf. Put that in the center there. And I'm going to make two more. So I have three leaves there. And then I just take a little piece of dough, roll it into a ball. It makes kind of like a berry. And maybe three is my uh, lucky number because I like to make three berries as well. Once we have that together, I'm going to take my knife and cut some vents. Just to give it some room to breathe. And then I have one egg white, which I have beaten up just until it's a little bit foamy. And I'm just going to brush that right over the top. And this will just give the puff pastry a nice golden glow. So, the secret to making a chicken pot pie healthy, lifestyle friendly is basically by trying to minimize the crust. So by using a puff pastry instead of a regular crust, we're eliminating some of the fat and calories that you get with the, with the regular crust. And then I'm also just using one, the top crust. We're not using one on the bottom. So that's the major thing that really helps to eliminate the, uh, the fat and calories. Not completely, but make it a little more palatable for those of us who are watching our waistlines. Okay, once I have that done, now I'm going to put it in my oven, which again I had heating to 400. It's on the center rack of the oven, and I'm going to bake that for about 25 to 30 minutes until the top is nice and golden brown. And here we go, the finished product. How pretty is that? I pulled it out of the oven. I let it sit for five minutes. Uh, let it firm up a little bit. Now, this is a big pie. This is well more than two people can eat, which is typically what my dishes feed. This particular dish is going to feed eight people. So what you want to do, just take a nice slice of that. If you want, you could serve this with a side salad. But this is so chock full of vegetables. I like it just by itself. How pretty is that? I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my dinner. I hope that you'll give this a try. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time in my kitchen.